I just want to do an orchard walk real quick, or as quick as I can make it. Uh, start off with the Satsuma. I think it's early ham. It's got one Satsuma on there. I just planted it this spring. It's got a lot of growth. Uh, next, this is a nipping orange quat. And it's growing like a weed. We got planted at the same time as a Satsuma. We have a uh, Fuyu persimmon. That's uh, doing okay. Didn't produce this year, but that's all right. This is a UGA lemon. It's called some kind of frost. But I read it's just the I Ching lemon that they radiated to make it seedless. And you see it's got two big old lemons on there. That should be good this fall. It's another Fuyu persimmon. Didn't produce this year either. The late frost we had must have think got it. And then this is a UGA tangerine. You see it's got it's got some little tangerines on there. Yeah, I saw I read that this was a radiated Changsha Mandarin. It makes it seedless. Uh, next, here's a Florida home peach. It lost all its leaves and then it grew the leaves back out, but we got two peaches off of it this year. I don't know what's going on with it. There's a little pomegranate in a pot. I just got it with some grass in it. I just got it sitting out here getting some sun. Uh, over here we got the pink, the UGA pink frost grapefruit. It's got two two good sized grapefruits on it. It's got a got a while to go though. Uh, next, here's another. I think it's Florida home. Florida King. I'm sorry, Florida King peach. I had six peaches on this year. We've been picking them and eating them. That's a pretty good tree. And here we have the loquats. One and two. These, this year they've grown like weeds, but last year they didn't do nothing. They just sat there. And they even had a lot of the leaves turn brown last year. And I was reading that that's probably because it got too hot and didn't have enough roots to get enough water up to it to make up for the heat. But yeah, they're, they're growing good. They're about almost six feet tall. Second year in the ground. Uh, next, what's a Bartlett pear? It's painted. Uh, the fruit's not bad. Just one little fruit this year. This, this is the second year in ground. Here's a, another Bartlett pear. And you see all the light green. It's got it's got some decent growth on it this year. It's painted. It protects them in the winter and the summer. That's why I paint them. Now let me show you. <laughs> Cutting grass and saw a pawpaw tree. So I made sure to avoid it. That one's gonna get big. Probably about a decade. <laughs> Here's another Bartlett pear. It's got it's got some growth on it. It's gotten a lot bigger this year. It's got about it's like three three or four feet of growth. It's painted as well. Another Bartlett pear. I really like Bartlett's. This one's grown a lot this year. And the the Bartlett's they get these brown leaves on them. It's not blight. It just I think they get too hot. But yes, this tree's gotten big this year. And that's a volunteer pawpaw over there. This is a Orient pear. Third year in ground. Uh, it blooms early in the late frost. Got all the blooms, so no Orient pears this year, which is unfortunate. 
Sure was looking forward to them. And this right here, it's a Russian pomegranate. It's grown, it's over six feet tall now, but it's, it's grown about, maybe about three feet this year. And it's gotten bushier, it is. Took off like a rocket. I have another Russian pomegranate. I accidentally got a Roundup and 2,4-D on the leaves when I was spraying them. And it had a pomegranate on it and it died to the roots and came back. So this is just a couple months of growth. I really hate I did that, but it's recovering. Over here, the two trees in pots are Nagami kumquats. And you see that one's got little fruits on it. This one's got good sized fruits on it. And in the middle is a Thomasville. And it just hit a little growth spurt. And it's got a couple fruits on it. I'm excited about those. Because those trees are good down to five degrees. It's a great tree for uh, Georgia here. Great citrus. Uh, this is a olive. Uh, that's not doing great. It grew like a weed last year. And then it's all limp and doodly. I ain't got as many leaves on it as it should. Let's see if we can see what kind it is. Oh, I forgot. 5G olive. Not cheap. <clears throat> Here's the other olive. This one looks better. It grew about two feet last year and then this year, so they haven't done a whole lot. I don't know, maybe maybe they're growing roots. There's another pawpaw and two persimmons over there. I'll let them get big. Let's go over here. That's another Bartlett pear. I like Bartlett pears. So I got a good deal on them. I planted a bunch. So that's about, it's about 10 feet tall. Not bad. Again, the leaves like to turn brown on them. And they get burned up in the middle of summer. Bunch of aphids. All right, another one. Another Bartlett. It's got some growth on it. Second year in ground. It had pears, but this one looks so bad that I pulled the pears off before they start getting big and hold on you gotta keep your trunks clean yeah next is a honey crisp apple it's a third year in ground and it's got one apple I had two but i ate one already just couldn't wait and the pantyhose is to keep the bugs off of it so I'll make sure i get to enjoy it but this one ain't bad. This one got tore up by a deer the first year I planted it. That's why a lot of leaves are missing. And leaf buds never came back or something. The deer like floss his teeth with the branches. They love them apple leaves. Here's another honey crisp. This one is on fire this year. It's got a light green where it's been shooting growth up. It is big. It has put some real size on the trunk too. I'm pumped about this tree. Next one, we got another honey crisp. This one is also on fire. It is huge. No, no blooms this year, but just tons and tons of growth. I love it. This thing is a monster. Next is a Fuji. This chucker is about about 12 feet tall third year in ground it it loves georgia you wouldn't think an apple tree would love the heat but it does and this is even planted in an old fire pit that's where i burned all the brush this whole area was burned right here in this area so it's all ashes and burnt wood in there and it loves it it can't get enough so next it's a profusion crab apple. This tree is extremely low maintenance. 
I planted it this spring and it grew, it's grown two feet. Every single branch has grown at least two feet. And it has some little crab apples on there, but the birds came and got them before they even started getting big. So you have profusion crab apple, awesome tree. That's my catabas. Get, they get worms on them for fishing. Next one, it's a Granny Smith. I planted it this uh, spring too, and it has taken off. It's put on about a foot of growth in every single branch. It's a great tree for Georgia zone 8A. Here's a lemon or lime. I don't know if that's right. I don't know, it makes limes. This guy's, this guy will live in a pot though. It can't get planted out. It's too cold sensitive. It's not like the kumquats over there. Those are getting planted out this winter. I'm just letting them get some size on them. All right, next we got a prairie fire crab apple. This tree is absolutely beautiful in the spring. It is covered in pink blooms from top to bottom. And it's got some little, some little crab apples on there. They don't taste bad, I ate one. I think they get bigger though, as the tree gets more, more settled. And then this right here, I was told this was a kumquat, but it's got thorns on it. I don't know what it is, it's a mystery, mystery citrus. But we'll plant it out and we'll, we'll see what happens. We got room for more. This right here, this uh, Orient pear, planted it uh, this past spring. Planted it and it grew three feet after getting planted. Every single branch grew three feet. It is unreal. These are the best pear trees for Georgia. It is hard to find them. Next, this is uh, another profusion crab apple. I like the first one so much that I bought a second one and planted it and it's growing just fine. Growing like a weed. Anytime a branch pokes out, the deer come by and <laughs> pull all the leaves off of it for me. They snip this one off. This one got the leaves pulled off of it. These aren't deer resistant. You gotta, you gotta cage them until they get a certain size. But yeah, I love this tree. There's another Orient pear. It's a big, big one right here. It's, it's about 12 feet tall. Nah, 10 feet, 10 or 11 feet tall. But it's got new growth pushing right there. Uh, plant, it's been planted since this spring and it's just taken off. There's braces where the trees come from. That thing is nice. Look forward to the pears next year. Late frost got them this year. Uh, all right, over here, this is a, it's called a 10 degree tangerine, some kind of hybrid. I saw them try fall that rootstock just like the rest of them. And it did just hit a growth spurt. It just put on that three feet of growth right there. It was a little small tree till about a week ago. And yep, deer will eat it because this little spot poked out and deer came and nipped it right off. So yeah, even the citrus gotta be in cages. Next, this is a, it's called a Karaji Mandarin. And it's, it's hitting a little growth spurt right now. You can see some little tender leaves poking out. These are real cold hardy. Everything out here, citrus wise, is cold hardy. Except for that silly lawn. This is a kefir pear. This thing was about 14 feet tall, but it caught a bad case of fire blight. And so I had to cut it right there because there, the entire tree was full of fire blight. Luckily that one branch wasn't, and these two little branches weren't, they were safe. But yes, yeah, starting to push growth back out. Yeah, it was a hard, hard cut to make. This right here is a little unknown apple tree, it's garbage. It's getting replaced with a LSU fig. 
in the fall. So I'm not worried about that one. Over here is a yuzu lemon. These are very cold hardy. About a, probably close to the same as Thomasville from what I've been reading. And it just it just hit a growth spurt. It put on that two foot of growth right there last week. It is it's not a bad looking tree. I can't wait to get some fruit off of it. It's a old kefir pear. Really old. Because uh, of that late frost, it, it killed thousands of uh, flower buds on it. And it, well, it had one flower bud make it. And so I have one pear on this entire tree. <laughs> Pitiful. That late frost, it uh, it hurt us. But yeah, this is the orchard as of 2023, the summer of 2023. It's not bad. It's it's gotten uh, the trees look a lot bigger than what they were when they were planted. I do have a couple figs over here. I have more figs, but these are the figs that are close by. I think these are just some Celeste. I planted these this past fall. This one right here is about four feet tall now. And when I planted it, it was just a little stump. Yeah, a little stump right there. And these figs grow like, they grow like weeds. And here's the other Celeste. This one got planted at the same time, except it grew in two, two liters, so it's not as tall, but it's wide. Uh, it's not bad. There's another fig over there, but you know what figs look like. But yeah, that's the orchard. Thanks for watching.